Welcome to another vlog. Today is a special day. Yep, yeah, I'm getting a piano and I'm ditching the guitar. So nowadays all my work is here in the studio. Teaching, practicing, filming, editing, doing all the work of the online academy. I'm pretty sure other musicians or creators can relate. I do spend a lot of hours in here and since COVID, an exaggerated amount, which got me a pretty intense tailbone pain. And I have been struggling to get rid of it for like about, yeah, well over a year. So I tried uh, physiotherapy, I tried buying all sorts of um, ergonomic pillows and aids to alleviate the pain and of course reducing drastically the amount of hours that I have been in the studio, hence also like I did not publish anymore on YouTube but after one year I still couldn't get rid of it. Thus, on my desperation, I decided to fix that one thing that I had the feeling that was making it worse every day. So I purchased something that hopefully, hopefully was gonna help me with that. Looks like a nice little cutie chair. Those chairs are expensive as hell. <coughs> so I'm very curious, is that actually worthwhile? But I'm doing it from my back to save on future doctors. So let's see. The moment of the truth, the putting my ass in here test. it feels nice wait I don't I mean I'm trying to put aside the, the fact that all the money that costs but um, it feels like an effortless chair like um, it adapts to your body somehow it's kind of weird because every other chair I ever had office chairs like they have a shape and you sit on it and you have to somewhat adapt to it this one for the first time I feel like like it just follows me I don't know it's a strange feeling like it's not like you feel free like you feel movable and I think that's one of the things that do and that's one of these meshes type of thing that it gives a lot of movement and indeed that feels nice and one of the biggest problems I had with the other chair it was that it was too long for my legs it was too big of a seat and that condition on my sitting position and I was getting so much pain in the back actually like the reason why I stopped doing a lot of online stuff is because I couldn't bear anymore the workload of being like 12 plus hours there in the office like working on the computer and um, plus then the practice everything my back just just started to say like it's enough one of the biggest problems were that the seat this uh, the length of the seat was it's too much was too much so i couldn't actually sit flush in here and i couldn't have proper back support and with this actually it's like shorter than my leg and i can extend it i don't wanna well i have to see the instructions but i can extend it ah there we go it's just like this and i can extend it quite a lot until here it's it's just perfect for my size actually and I'm a tiny person, I think. Wow, I am impressed. Oh, and now here we can have hello or a tight hello. It's very nice. I feel like a, a queen in here. It's like, huh. I'm really happy about how comfortable it feels in here. 
and something that I thought when I bought my other chair. I just can't live without, which is the tilt, you know, the moving. I thought, yeah, I mean, I just need a chair to sit and work. What's the, what's the deal with it? And very honestly, it feels very stiff if you don't have that. And I didn't know before how important it is to remain a little bit flexible and movable when you're in the office, let's say in the studio for so long. And I appreciate that because many times you're just working and you need to move and only these little movements help you from being tense for many hours on end. I have the feeling that that's really gonna be a very nice addition to my studio. And I'm gonna do, be doing this movement the whole day through right now. <laughs> it's just so smooth. This is the new chair. This is the old chair. It looks huge actually. Okay, like let me ignore the pillows and this pillow, but it looks huge. Look at that. It's so much bigger. Look at the, look at the back. It's insane. Now, as you can see, I've tried to make this chair by all means comfortable. First, I started adding just an extra pillow because eventually those things become like pretty hard. So, you know, like a pillow did the job somehow, but eventually started to get a lot of pain on my tailbone and stuff for so many hours sitting. And well, I bought this pillow, which supposed to alleviate your tailbone type of pain and get more support in here. But very honestly, it did not make any difference. I'm have using this pillow for like a year now and pain hasn't gone away. And then I tried also adjusting my back. Maybe, you know, being in the, this city so long, so big, maybe I need to adjust in my back. So I bought like a ergonomic type of pillow, support, whatever. It didn't change a thing. It, when I sit in this chair, like already after five minutes, I feel the pain again. And very honestly, when I'm sitting on this one, nothing. It's like it's gone because this is not really a pillow. This is like a mesh and that distributes the the pressure points and that is a massive difference so now let me do the test the new chair which feels like heaven the old chair let me try just as it used to be ah it's bad it's bad i really feel like here there's something there is some this one doesn't have head support i don't really mind so much but this one <laughs> but this one has this head support that when I remove this, so I can show you. Oh Jesus, that's bad. I'm not gonna stay here long. So this head support, that's the head support. I'm literally like just looking down on my toes. It's so bad. So this is my future me one year later after I got this chair. And here is my conclusion after the experience. If you have no back pain and a lot of money to invest in your workplace, this is going to be a good friend. It's a great chair, no doubts. If you have no back pain, but not that much money to spend on a chair, which is perfectly understandable, I think there are still plenty of great choices and great premium chairs out there. But in my case, I have to say that finally, after one year of using this chair, my table and pain has gone away. This mesh technology that they use for this chair now makes a lot of sense to me because it distributes the pressure points throughout your butt and your legs so nothing gets really that compressed like a normal chair with a pillow. If you ever try one of these you will feel that it doesn't come across like the most comfortable chair like right off the bat. It's not the comfort in terms of sofa kind of comfort. It's not so pillowy, so fluffy that you would just like to take a nap on it. The comfort that this chair will give you is the feeling of being well supported, light, movable, which seems to be a great help for many long hours of working. And therefore, I can say that I do not regret the money spent on this chair because besides that it has finally fixed my pain, it has enabled me to get back to work. For me, it's just a little bit crazy that all the physiotherapy, all the pillows and supports and trying to stand working out. Last year, I did a lot of training. I, as you have seen in my channel, I started tennis just to reinforce my muscles to be healthier. So I spent a lot less hours in here. And still, every time I was coming here to the studio, it was after 10 minutes or less, 
I could feel the pain coming back. So it's quite crazy for me to think that this chair actually um, does a very good job, but it's not very apparent when you first um, sit on it. I hope you enjoyed my little weird upgrade type of vlog. Um, those are also part of what's happening in behind the scenes. <laughs> And that was actually a pretty important part because it was hell to work all this year with this chair actually it has been a pretty big struggle. But I'm I'm really happy that this came and well I hope you enjoyed a little bit of just behind the scenes of me doing me and just being here <laughs> in my normal work. And please take care of your backs because you only have one and so far I have not found in Amazon uh, back replacements which I hope one day we will get there, but for now, take care of your backs, your butts and your sitting positions because it's important. Bye. Now I have a problem right now. Everybody's going to hear your snoring on the videos because you snore a little bit too loud. Little bit. just a dream. <laughs>